the Food Finder. Today we are going to make these milk tea mochi waffles. These waffles are so good and I can't wait for other people to try them. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is steep some tea. I'm using Earl Grey tea since that's what I had available, but you can use whatever type of black tea that you enjoy. Alright, so what I did was add one cup of milk to a saucepan and warmed it up over medium heat. Then after that, I'm going to add around 4 tablespoons of Earl Grey tea and don't worry about the loose tea because we will be straining it out later. Also, I always include extra information in the description box about the recipes such as substitutions, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so now we're going to steep the tea on low heat for 10 minutes. Now that the tea is done steeping, we are going to strain out all of the loose tea leaves. Then I'm also going to press the leaves down to get out any of the extra tea. Also, the milk does boil down a bit, so if it doesn't reach one cup anymore, just add in some extra milk like I did here. Now we're going to set the tea aside so that it can cool down and while we're waiting, we're going to start making the batter. First, in a large bowl, we're going to combine the dry ingredients. So that includes the glutinous rice flour, brown sugar, baking powder, and salt. And again, more information about why I chose these ingredients or their substitutions or any other questions will probably be answered in the description box. Now we're going to grab another bowl for the wet ingredients. So you're just going to combine the butter, condensed milk, and egg. slowly stream in the tea while mixing and the reason you want to be mixing while you are adding the tea is so that the rest of the ingredients get used to the warm temperature. everything is ready we're going to mix together both of the wet and dry ingredients also i forgot to add in the vanilla extract earlier so i'm just going to add it in now and the vanilla extract is totally optional i just love the flavor so that's why i added it Now that the batter is finished, I'm going to prepare my waffle iron and cook the batter. As a side note, I will be adding in some mochi in the middle of the waffles and it just takes the waffles to a whole other level. It is optional but I highly recommend adding it. My waffle iron is pretty deep and wide so it does take a lot of batter to completely fill it up. So the amount of waffles that this recipe makes will vary depending on the size of your waffle iron. Okay, so after I filled the waffle iron up with some batter and mochi, I'm going to cook it for 5 minutes. And again, the time will depend on your waffle iron, so it could take a little less time or a little more. And that's it. These waffles are amazing and are a simple treat to make. They are probably one of my most favorite recipes I've created, and they taste exactly like milk tea. I decided to top this waffle off with some fresh whipped cream, homemade boba, condensed milk, and some brown sugar syrup. However, they will taste amazing by themselves too. These photos honestly don't do these waffles justice, but I promise that they taste great. I 
hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please like the video and subscribe for more great recipes. Thank you.